my friends so today we are going to solve the multiple choice questions on the noise and vibration in this noise and vibration i have selected the free undamped vibration that is from unit number 1 for the multiple choice questions kai mulani mala banano videos he marathi ani english ya doni language mede banavala sangitle so i am going to make the videos in both the language that is marathi and english okay now for this particular video i have selected the topic free undamped vibrations and we are going to see almost 25 questions from this lecture 1 bada ya lecture mede apan actually ek andaje 25 cha aspas questions solve karnar hai so we'll start with the basic and the first question is the number of natural frequencies in case of cantilever see simultaneously i am going to give the explanation for each question see for uh, the cantilever system suppose if i consider this system subjected to point load then the deflection will be like this means first point having displacement small then it will increase 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 so there are n number of masses which will vibrate about its mean position and each point will be having the different vibration so the number of frequencies will be equal to number of displacements so for cantilever beam the natural frequencies will be infinite okay means it is having n number of masses which are vibrating with different displacements so the number of frequencies will be infinite jevde number che mass asnar tevde number cha frequency asnar so pratyek point consider kela ta pratyek point che displacement veg veg hai so the answer is infinite number of frequencies now sir uh, read the second question the vibration parallel to the shaft axis is known as see here i am going to draw one shaft suppose this is the shaft which is subjected to this force then the vibration of this force will be means this point will be moved downward then upward baga to point will up and down move hai and if i apply the force which is perpendicular to this shaft means if i apply in this direction to ya case mate ka will here the particle will move perpendicular to this axis and here the particle will move parallel to this axis when the particle moves parallel then it is called longitudinal and when the particle will move perpendicular to axis then it is called transverse so i have given the two types of vibrations that is the longitudinal and transverse axis la parallel asel tar vibration asta longitudinal axis la perpendicular asel tar vibration asta transverse so as per these two cases we can solve the next question see just read the vibration parallel to the shaft axis are known as parallel to axis it is longitudinal so the answer is b longitudinal vibration read out the next question the vibration perpendicular to shaft axis if it is perpendicular then it is transverse so the answer is a so apan baka we have solved the three questions the first one for cantilever second for the longitudinal and for third one is the transverse this is the basic and it is came from the types of vibrations now the next question we put the question was to baka write the frequency range of hearing so whatever the frequency range that we are going to hear actually this question is from unit number 6 that is noise where it will come into the sound tari pan mi to uttar sangta hai the actual answer for this one is it is 20 hertz to 20000 hertz ata tumhi mannar ita options dilel nahi why the options are not given because we know this is the range they will give any answer काही तरी चार आन्सर देतील दहा ते वीस शंभर ते दोनशे अशी काही पण देतील दे विल गिव्ह द फोर डिफरंट आन्सर्स बट द करेक्ट आन्सर इज ट्वेंटी हर्ड्स टू ट्वेंटी थाउजंड हर्ड्स दिस इज द करेक्ट आन्सर फॉर द फोर्थ वन नाव रीड आउट द नेक्स्ट वन राईट द फ्रिक्वेन्सी रेज ऑफ सुपरसोनिक वायब्रेशन सुपरसोनिक वायब्रेशन मीन्स द वायब्रेशन दॅट वी आर नॉट गोईंग टू इयर अँड दॅट फ्रिक्वेन्सी रेंज इज अबव ट्वेंटी थाउजंड हर्ड्स 
above 20000 hertz these two questions actually are from unit number 6 but the book where i have taken this one in that book they have mentioned these two in the unit number 1 so i have taken so just simply just you have to keep uh, remember that the frequency range for hearing is 20 to 20000 Above that 20,000, actually it is ultrasonic. We normally we call as supersonic. And if the frequency is less than 20, then it is infrasonic. Okay. Now, read out the next question. The string length of a simple pendulum is increased four times. The frequency of system will be. See here. They have given a pendulum. so suppose this is the pendulum this is the length this is the mass then the frequency formula for this one is 1 divided by 2 pi root g by l so this is the formula to determine natural frequency of pendulum now just read out the statement this is the first case suppose the length is l then this is the frequency now read out the statement the string length of pendulum is increased four times means in the second case whatever the length that we are going to use is four times of original length so natural frequency will become 1 divided by 2 pi for second case so fn dash i will mention as fn dash will be 1 divided by 2 pi root g by 4l so take this 4 out of this root so this will become 1 divided by 2 pi into 1/2 into root g by l so i'll keep this have half outside so in bracket it will be 1 by 2 pi into root g by l and this 1 divided by 2 pi root g by l is nothing but original frequency when the length is l So you see, from one, it is Fn. So it is one and a half of natural frequency, means which is actual. So now, this is the answer. Now read out the answers. The first one reduced to half. Second one increased to twice. Then reduced to one fourth. Then increased to four times. Now what will be the answer? Your new frequency will be your new frequency will be half of original frequency. The answer is A. the answer is a so for 6 the answer is a okay now next so whatever i am solving here simultaneously i am giving the explanation for uh, each question on the right side now uh, next one the reciprocal of interval of time taken by vibrating body to complete one cycle is called kashacha sangitle baka satwa question jo sir vacha the reciprocal of interval of time reciprocal of time period So one divided by time period is nothing but frequency. It is the formula for frequency, which is one divided by time period. So this is the reciprocal of time period. So it is nothing but the frequency. So the answer is A. Okay. So मतलब क्या बोला गया है ना time period का inverse मुझे कहा तो ये frequency. Now read the next question eighth one. Resonance is phenomena when the frequency of external excitation is. हाँ question वाला चाहिए जाती है. I'll just explain the resonance resonance means if i apply external force and that external force frequency is match with the original frequency of the system that phenomena is called resonance in resonance amplitude of vibration is going to increase ye parat marathi sangto baka mi jar baharun force lavla ekadya system varti tya force chi frequency ani tya system chi natural frequency jar ek jhali तर एम्प्लिट्यूड ऑफ वाइब्रेशन का होता है वाढ़त 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 जाते या फेनोमेनल आपन क्या मंतव्य है नो रेजोनेंस के मत अतः रेजोनेंस अड़ी बात सा जस्ट रीड रेजोनेंस इस फेनोमेनल व्हेन फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ द एक्सटर्नल एक्साइटेशन इज अतः फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ एक्सटर्नल एक्साइटेशन शुड � The time taken by vibrating body to complete one cycle. See, if I plot the graph of vibrating system, then from this point to this point, this is the one cycle. 
एंड हियर वी प्लॉट द टाइम पीरियड बरबर है टाइम पा प्लॉट करते ना हियर वी प्लॉट द डिस्प्लेसमेंट सो टू कंप्लीट द वन साइकल वॉट एवर द टाइम वी रिक्वायर वी कॉल इट एज टाइम पीरियड टी पी सो इट इज द टाइम पीरियड इज नोन एज पीरियड सो द आंसर इज ए नाउ नेक्स्ट नैचरल फ्रिक्वेन्सी ऑफ सीस्टीम इज ड्यू टू बगा नैचरल फ्रिक्वेन्सी कशा मुझे बनो नैचरल फ्रिक्वेन्सी टू कैलक्युलेट नैचरल फ्रिक्वेन्सी वी कन्सिडर द फ्री वाइब्रेशन वी कन्सिडर द फ्री वाइब्रेशन दैट इज एफ एन और ओमेगा एन सर्क्युलर नैचरल फ्रिक्वेन्सी मीन्स द वाइब्रेशन ऑफ द सीस्टीम द वाइब्रेशन ऑफ सीस्टीम विदाउट एनी एक्सटर्नल फोर्स मजे इत एयर का रेजिस्टन्स आना नहीं इत फ्रिक्शनल फोर्स आना नहीं क्या वेला जी फ्रिक्वेंसी थी दैट फ्रिक्वेंसी वी कॉल एज नैचुरल फ्रिक्वेंसी मीन्स द फ्रिक्वेंसी ऑफ वाइब्रेशन विदाउट एनी एक्सटर्नल फोर्स एंड दैट वी कॉल एज नैचुरल फ्रिक्वेंसी दैट इज द फ्री वाइब्रेशन फ्रिक्वेंसी सो द नैचुरल फ्रिक्वेंसी इज नथिंग बट फ्री वाइब्रेशन फ्रिक्वेंसी नेक्स्ट रीड आउट द स्टेटमेंट इफ द पार्टिकल ऑफ अ बॉडी वाइब्रेट अरॉन्ग अ सर्क्युलर आर्क ओके फॉर दैट आई विल ड्रॉ वन डायग्राम सपोज दिस इज द शाफ्ट which is subject which is having one disc at bottom so this is the disc now this body is vibrating in this fashion means it is generating the arc it is moving in this fashion it is generating the arc okay so if the particle of body vibrate along a circular arc whose center lies on the axis center lies on the axis of this shaft okay now next then the body is said to have आता ही कुछ फ्रिक्वेस कुछ वाइब्रेशन है बनो वेन द डिस्क इज गोइंग टू मूव इन टू एंड थ्रो देन इट इज सॉरी इन द सर्क्युलर पोजिशन देन इट इज कॉल्ड टॉर्शनल वाइब्रेशन सो दिस इज द टॉर्शनल वाइब्रेशन नेक्स्ट द ट्वेल्व नंबर द नैचरल फ्रिक्वेन्सी ऑफ फ्री लॉन्जिट्यूडनल वाइब्रेशन इज सगा का बनो द नैचरल फ्रिक्वेन्सी ऑफ फ्री लॉन्जिट्यूडनल वाइब्रेशन इज वाइज द नैचरल पीरियड ऑफ वाइब्रेशन रेसिप्रोकोल ऑफ नैचरल फ्रिक्वेंसी रेसिप्रोकोल ऑफ नैचरल पीरियड ऑफ वाइब्रेशन मीन्स दे हैव आस रिलेशन बिट्वीन नैचरल फ्रिक्वेंसी एंड पीरियड सो हियर यू कैन सी द रिलेशन बिट्वीन नैचरल फ्रिक्वेंसी एंड पीरियड इज नैचरल फ्रिक्वेंसी इज इनवर्स ऑफ टाइम पीरियड सो इट इज रेसिप्रोकोल ऑफ टाइम पीरियड सो आंसर इज बी सो फॉर ट्वेल्थ आंसर इज बी नाउ फॉर थर्टीन जस्ट रीड आउट द स्टेटमेंट is it true that phenomena of beat occurs as result of interference between two waves of slightly different frequencies moving along same straight line in same direction yes it is the phenomena of beat suppose one wave is moving in this direction and suppose another one wave is moving and interfering with the first wave slightly different frequency slightly different amplitude but moving in same direction then it is going to form the beat so actually it is the phenomena of beat means the statement which is given is true here they are not given the options but this statement which is given is true so it may be will come for true and false okay now we have solved almost 13 questions which are based on basic which are based on basic uh, basics of the vibration now next the next questions are based on actually uh, on the free vibration that is the undamped vibration so here read out the first statement see if the mass of body increases 9 times then the frequency in each statement you can see it is related to frequency so i'll write the formula for frequency when the system is having spring and mass here we don't have the damper so mass and spring and if the force is applied then the frequency of vibration for such system will be 1 divided by 2 pi root k by m so this is the formula for natural frequency now if the mass of the body increases by 9 times so consider this is the first frequency when the mass is m now consider the second case consider the second case here with the mass 
it is nine times of original mass. So the new frequency f n dash will be one divided by two pi root k by. Now mass will be nine times of m. So original mass is replaced by nine times. So one divided by two pi. Take this nine out of this root. So it will be one third into root k by m. Now if I take one third common. Then one divided by two pi root k by is m is nothing but the original frequency. Means the new frequency of the system will be one third of original frequency. So frequency, frequency increases by three times, decreases by three times. Do not change. It will be zero. Here it is reduced by three times. So the answer is a. Okay. So frequency decreases by three times. So in the formula, just you have to put whatever the values which are given. But I have to calculate the value. Then, mass is there. The average is now times k. And the frequency, my dear, what is the difference? As we said, the average frequency is there. The mass is now times k. The new frequency is determined. The average is one third. So the frequency decreases by three times. So this is the answer. Now the next question: In Rayleigh's method for finding frequency. Actually, Rayleigh's method is the type of it is the type of energy method. So I'll write here energy method. In energy method, what we consider? We consider potential energy of the system plus kinetic energy of the system is equal to constant. And in Rayleigh's method, it is the modification. What Rayleigh suggested? He suggested that the maximum potential energy and maximum kinetic energy. Is the same. So, if I become potential energy zero, then the maximum potential energy is equal to C. If I become this potential energy is equal to zero, then by maximum kinetic energy will become C. Means maximum potential, maximum kinetic energy is same. So, in Rayleigh's method for finding the frequency, the maximum kinetic energy is equal to maximum potential energy. So, the answer is A. Now, next. In energy method for finding the frequency, here I have written for energy method. Kali le baga energy method ma the potential and kinetic energy is the same as kya baga no constant. So the answer is sum of kinetic and potential energy is constant. So the answer is B. The sum of kinetic and potential energy is constant. Now the next question, the fourth question, just read out. Now before going to this question. Uh, they have given the equivalent stiffness for parallel system so i'll write here for series and for parallel see in parallel system the springs are in parallel means the deflection of both the springs deflection of both the springs is same and here the equivalent stiffness is addition of the two stiffness this is the formula in series the springs are in series okay And it is attached to mass. Now, here the equivalent stiffness is here the equivalent stiffness is inverse addition of stiffness of each spring. This is the addition plus. Okay. So now, just read out the statement. The equivalent stiffness for the parallel systems with K1 and K2. So, if the systems are parallel, then its addition is the equivalent stiffness. So answer is B. Okay. Now the answer number five and answer number six. These two answers are depend on the practicals that you have performed. Jani ba no practical ke liye sitting direct laksha thevai chhe jab bhi don gusti sangna rahe. For bar filler suspension, it is used to determine the moment of inertia of bar. Bar filler suspension used for bar. Hey important hai laksha thevai chhe. And tri filler suspension is used to determine the moment of inertia of this. So it is moment of inertia of disc. So answer is B here. For trifilar, it is for disc, and for bifilar, it is for bar. Okay. Now next, the main properties of any vibrating system. See, any system is represented by any system is represented by spring, mass, and damper. मुझे ये तीन तेज़ महत्वपूर्ण पैरामीटर्स हैं. So the these three parameters are what? K, C, and M. So the main parameters of the vibrating system are what? Is it? Mass, spring, and damping. So the answer is B. Okay. 
Now we'll move to the next question. Let's do it. Okay. Now the eighth question. Just read out the statement. The natural frequency of steam is function of. So natural frequency is function of. I'll write the formula. That is one divided by two pi root k by m. So the na natural frequency is function of mass, and it is function of stiffness. So it is the function of mass and stiffness. So in A it is given stiffness. It is B in G it is given mass. So answer is stiffness and mass. So it will be C. That is both A and B. Now the next. Just read out the ninth. Ninth. In the spring mass system, so they have given one spring and mass system. Now for this system, if the mass is doubled, means the whatever the mass we are going to use, it will be double of original, and stiffness is half. And whatever the stiffness we will use, it is half of original stiffness. Okay, the natural frequency will be so. For this system, the original frequency is it is one divided by two pi root k by m. This is the original. So I'll keep this aside. This is the original. Now the new frequency after changing the mass that is f n dash. So this f n dash will be one divided by two pi root k. K means stiffness. That is one half of k divided by mass that is two m. So 1 divided by 2 pi, this half will come in downward direction, so it will become 1 by 4 k by m. So take 1 fourth common, that is 1 half, so it will be in bracket. It will be 1 by 2 root k by m. So 1 half, this is the original frequency of the system. So when when the mass is doubled, stiffness is half, then the New frequency will be half of original, so it will be half of original. So answer is C. It will be half of original. So this is the original and this is the new. Baga kya kare se bara no? Jaavela to mala case dilay asil thi baazula lihun gaye chhi. Original frequency ka di kani lihun thevai chhi. New frequency calculate karai chhi. Ani new frequency la parad original madhe kani word karai chhi. Aur to mala kya thi ki half zala ka one third zala ka one fourth. So here the answer is one half of original. So it is half. Okay. Next, next, the question number ten. Just read out the statement. If the spring mass system with mass m, spring stiffness k, is taken to very high altitude, the natural frequency of vibration will be. See, there is no effect of altitude. If you do at ground level, if you do at altitude, any altitude. Then the natural frequency of the system will remain unchanged because the mass is not going to change, the stiffness is not going to change, so the frequency will remain unchanged. So the answer is remain unchanged. There is no effect of altitude on the natural frequency because it depends upon the k and m. So with respect to height, k and m badal na rega hai, nahi. Manjus ji frequency badal na nahi. So it is remain unchanged. Now, this is the last multiple choice question for this session. In a spring mass system, mass m and stiffness k, the ends of the springs are securely fixed. One spring is, samza, that is, both ends securely fixed. Ke liye, and mass is attached intermediate. Mass could be made by no attached killer. The mass is. The natural frequency of longitudinal vibration. अतः बाद में यह चीज मुझे तुम्हाला ये चीज आंसर लक्ष्य ठेव वाला गिल जावे ला. When I'm going to place this mass at the center, when I'm going to place this mass at the center, then it is going to vibrate with minimum. Then it is going to vibrate with minimum. Okay. And natural frequency. And when I'm going to place this mass outside of this minimum, then the frequency will be increased. So the answer is B. Means the natural frequency of longitudinal vibration is minimum when the mass is attached at midpoint. Okay. So I have solved the 24 questions from unit number one. Thank you.